With the weather warming up, the issues of park encampments and the lack of affordable housing were hot topics on the campaign trail today. Make no mistake, encampments cannot be allowed to continue and must be removed while preserving the dignity to those people that live in the encampments. Mark Saunders is promising to tackle the root causes of encampments, including hiring more public health nurses, boosting support services, and increasing the number of mobile crisis response teams. Meanwhile, Anna Bailao says the first approach to getting people out of encampments involves housing. People shouldn't be leaving outside or in parks. It is not safe. It is not healthy. They urgently need supportive housing, like this one behind me. Bailao is planning to double the number of modular homes built in Toronto, saying that some could be ready in as quick as six months. Her goal is to have a thousand units finished within eight years. But Brad Bradford insists the root of the housing crisis rests within City Hall. I don't want people to have to move to Hamilton if they don't want to. And that's why we need more supply, more affordable, more units in more neighborhoods for more people. Bradford's plan includes cutting red tape and streamlining the process of approving new homes. He's also vowing to unlock private lands and convert empty downtown office space into housing. At the same time, candidate Mitzi Hunter is promising more green space across the city. Parks are at the heart of our city. We love our parks. For too long, we have not invested enough in our parks. Hunter's fully costed platform includes plans to keep washroom facilities open year round, adding more tree coverage and permitting the responsible drinking of alcohol in parks.